Fun isn't something one considers when balancing the universe. But this <laughs> does put a smile on my face. Hi everyone, I'm Calvin. And I'm Freddy. And in this episode of Yay or Nay, we're going to talk about Marvel's latest movie, Avengers Infinity War, that's Woo! already out. Yeah, so it's a big movie, uh, 10 years in the making, and it's finally here. Yep. And we all know Marvel, right? We all know Marvel from the first Iron Man movie to now there's already 18 movies made. The whole Infinity War, the whole Avengers 3 concept has really been now hit for the past two to three years. Mm -hmm. And the hype is real, I must say. A lot of people Very are real. trying to catch this as soon as they can. And from my understanding, most of the local cinemas already sold out. Yeah, pretty much all of them. We were lucky to even get a spot when we did. Mm. And I also saw that a lot of the local cinemas actually opened up more theaters yep. just to show this. Yep. And of course, we know the movie is hype, but is the movie good? That is what we're going to discuss about. Definitely. <laughs> okay. Personally, I like the storytelling, to mm -hmm. be honest, because like most um, Avengers movie, like first and second one, they try to spend too much time telling each, uh, the story of each character, mm. which is unavoidable because you, you do want to have some sort of a character development and stuff like that. But in this movie, you have so many characters. You have like, for multiple universes, you have Guardians so of the Galaxy, you have the original Avengers, you have someone else, you have so many other <laughs> things, you have the villains. So, you can't do that. This, it, will be, it will be a five hour movie. Five hour, it'll be messy, it'll be hard mm. to keep track. I mean, on paper, it sounds very hard to, to understand. Correct. Especially when you translate this to screen. Correct. But as we know from the Russo brothers... <laughs> they, they, they did a great job. They, instead of like spending time in all the small little details, they actually didn't tell you too much. For example, if um, a lot of the backstory actually based off the other movies like mm. Thor Ragnarok and stuff mm. like that. And if you haven't got a chance to watch it, it's fine as well because you can somewhat pick up the, the main plot. And at the same time, in, in, they actually focus the storyline on Thanos. Yes. Uh, to go back a bit, I'm a little bit different on that opinion. Mm -hmm. I feel that if you didn't catch some of the original films, you might not understand who the character of is course. now. But yeah, you can still enjoy the movie as it is. Mm -hmm. And Thanos making his grand appearance finally after how many movies of him at the end credits just yeah. sitting in that chair. I guess the question <laughs> is that, is it a prerequisite for you to watch all the Marvel movies in order to like, enjoy Avengers 3? No. no. But it would be great if you have. Yes, I agree with that. Yeah. Now back to Thanos. He's huge, he's badass, he's the final boss. Is he deserving? Yes. As a big bad guy, who stole the limelight, mm -hmm. literally. This movie's about him. And yeah, he is the big bad who everyone has been thinking that he's so incredibly powerful, yeah. he's so threatening. You know, how are the heroes gonna win the day? He is deadly. Yeah. From, from the moment you see him on screen the first time, you know he means business. You know he's serious and you can hear in the voice uh, the voice actor does a great job in portraying a very calm and very calculative villain. Yeah, and of, of, of course that's great because a lot of time we oft we often time we talk about a great superhero movie. You need a great villain, mm. and for Thanos, he I think he did his job well done. And at the same time, you can follow his path. You can understand his justification why he do things like that. Mm. Why he decided to destroy the world mm. and. You may as well call it Thanos the movie and not like, you know, <laughs> Avengers Infinity War, but... In fact, in fact, yeah, you're right. Because you know how we're always used to seeing a Marvel mm. movie with the name of the character on the screen? Yep. And then you think it's all about them? <laughs> <laughs> this one, this one threw, threw me off guard. Because I was expecting like more Avengers, mm -hmm. but then we have this, which is, I feel, refreshing and so much better. Having said that, the Avengers, they are, they are still there. They are not mm -hmm. just sidekicks, they are not just cameos. Some of them, they, they are. But for, <laughs> most of them, they still carry out their, their, their characters, their story plot, everything is there. So do not worry that, oh yeah, I won't get too much screen time with uh, Captain mm -hmm. or like Thor and all those. No, you will, you will. It's just that Thanos does have so much more impact than mm. some of the other past villains, I would say. Mm. Surpassing. Mm. He, he surpasses the the expected Marvel villains you yeah. come to you come to expect. And of course, this is 
essentially an action movie, mm. and I find that the action sequences were actually great. I like I like most of it. I think they didn't drag out too long, and some of them where you need time to develop and show us more, they did. Yeah, they were very respectful of how much time they gave to all the characters. They they put certain combinations of characters in quadrants of the movie, and it's pretty fast paced. Yeah. But they, they really respect that each of these moments count. Yeah. Whether it's a fight sequence or whether it's a development of character sequence or even just fun jokes between characters like you've seen in a trailer with uh, Chris Pratt mm -hmm. and uh, Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, one thing about the screen, how, the, the, how they shoot it is like, I like it that whenever you go to different characters, sometimes you're like, you know, Guardians, they are wacky and uh, <laughs> Um, the way they shot it is different. It's mm. a bit more shaky, it's a bit more fun. Then when you gonna go to Cap, Captain is like very, very straightforward, mm. very clean. Then when you go to Thanos, you feel the different treatment. And all this really gel pretty well as well. Mm. Now, finally, this is a quick show of hand. Is this a yay or nay for you? I will go yay. And yay for me as well. I feel like if you need a movie to enjoy yourself, or like, you know, if you are a hardcore fan, like some of us, that you have been waiting for this movie, it should not disappoint you. Mm. This is a movie, by the way, a little bit of a let you know. Mm -hmm. If you're a hardcore Marvel fan and you followed all the movies up to now, this is a movie that is meant for you. It's capturing all the characters you've come to know and love and put them in one big epic story. If you are just coming into it, you can still enjoy it with what Marvel movies you've seen but you may be a little bit lost and you may feel it's a bit too fast. But that's fine. Yeah. But that's fine. You know, it, the, the, the strength of the movie is that they gave so much time to each character that they needed to, but at the same time, its flaw is that it can be a bit too fast than what you expect. It is, after all, a two hour, 40 minute movie and I still think it's an amazing achievement what they did to give everyone what they needed and everything yeah. that we would love to see. And final word of advice for me, don't let anyone spoil the movie for you. <laughs> Do not succumb to spoilers. Hashtag Thanos demand silence. But yeah, <laughs> please do yourself a favor. Do your friends a favor. Do not spoil for anyone else. Well, that's me and Freddy for today's EONA. Stay tuned for our next episode. Ciao.